finally it rises. Public preference for Lincoln Continental as the symbol for today's luxury motoring. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, today seems kinda odd. All right, so Lincoln Addict here, ODB, and uh, just want to kick off the morning. Today is November 19th. It's uh, about 8.40 a.m. I'm gonna try to remember to do video throughout the day to piece together this video so I can actually produce a full video beginning to end Tampa Kennedy Cruise fifth annual going down again today, 1119. If you're seeing this video and you live in the greater Orlando, Tampa area, maybe you live in Georgia and you wanna come down next year, it's always the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So we know next weekend is the Turkey Rod Run over in Daytona and that's gonna to be tough for anybody um, to make it out that weekend. So before the weekend before Thanksgiving, we have this cruise. It kind of commemorates the fact that uh, JFK did come here before his Texas trip. And um, that was back in 63, of course. I think he did go back to DC and then they left and they went to uh, Houston and then they went to Dallas. And uh, that was uh, unfortunately the end of his life. But um, just loving history, loving the JFK connection to these cars oftentimes uh you know he loved these cars he rode in these cars um we decided five years ago to do this cruise so enough with that got the 65 um just wanted to point out what i ended up doing is i always make a list before i go to a car show or truck show and i go through the list you know checking fluids uh, in this case i bought a new battery not too long ago i actually maybe last weekend or the weekend before i ended up getting a 27 f interstate battery that's what john cashman always recommended size wise a little under 200 bucks not too too bad surprisingly and um got that swapped uh the other battery had just kind of i could tell it was on the fritz it was you know it didn't want to start and i charge it alternators working fine so it was time but uh, a little bit shadowy here right now um where i've got it pulled out but i basically warmed the car up sitting in it today uh, so let the car warm up and went back, double checked the list, got the small cooler. We like to bring waters and soda and stuff for my son. Um, camera equipment, so GoPro, other things. I've got all that locked in there. Um, and I got some shirts and stickers. So some guys, ladies, they might want some of that. So we'll see how many we end up getting. We normally about 20 to 30 people or vehicles, uh, probably more people than that. But um, you know, with riders and things, but about 20 to 30, we'll see. Uh, Chris Dunn from Lincoln Land, shout out to Lincoln Land, they come out. Um, Eric's come out in the past. I'm gonna try to get Blair and Teresa there, we'll see. Uh, hopefully Tony will bring the drone. We'll get a little bit of drone footage potentially. And the cool thing is we only stop a few times now, but it is kind of a cool cruise. The people love seeing the cars and wait till you see the footage from University of Tampa. It's a beautiful school, great campus and we'll get some uh, some video kind of walking around there. Wonderful place. So let's do this, Tampa Kennedy Cruise 2022. Hey, hey, so we cruised out about 9.15, right on time to leave. Got here at 9.45, already stopped and got fuel. My son, you can tell he really wants to be here. He's tired. Uh, Jay, you saw a minute ago, he showed up at the house. Uh, Fitzmagic, I call him, with the C10. There's one other guy here, so we'll go say what up to him. Uh, we like to get here a little. I like to try to get here early. Starts at about 10. But, uh, again, if people make it cool, if they don't, they're missing out. It's going to be a good time. The weather's beautiful. I'd say it's mid 60s right now. And uh, I'm going to get out of the car the first time. See the parking lot is empty, which is good for us. This is Florida living right here, folks. Very, very nice out. Very nice. We're out here at the Tampa Kennedy Cruise 2022. It's a good time. We got some Lincolns that have showed up. Some people weren't able to make it due to car trouble or maintenance that they had to do. So it's pretty cool. We'll be cruising out of here in about 45 minutes to an hour. Some 70s, 60s, C10s, V-Dub. Good times. 
keep on keeping on.
this part of the cruise, we cruise into University of Tampa. Obviously storied campus here, a lot of history. And this is right where JFK passed through going down Kennedy Boulevard back in 63. I actually came here with my buddy Sean not too long ago to line up some photos from um, other historic stuff that tied into this building here. We got Donate Blood. This is Bill with the 64 Cadillac in front of us. Remember, we're open to all on this cruise, so it's not just Lincolns. Cruise up towards the front. So we're at the University of Tampa. You saw us kind of pull in there. And historic JFK, uh, there's a statue here. And he cruised down Kennedy. There's photo, I'll try, to, I'll try to pop one in here to kind of show up here. We always hang here for a minute. Right, Bowen, we hang out here for a minute? Yes, sir. Chris, of course, in the car you saw earlier. Some of the footage. This is Lou's really nice. Semi resto on. And then again, we cruised out by year, but once we kind of get here, we just get in where we fit in. Got our 65. Now, Tony has rebuilt his steering column, so in his, he's still letting it run. He's having a little bit of an issue with the Phytech, but. Right up in this area, uh, there's a photo. Again, I posted this in social media before, and you can see this hut, wherever you want to call it, right here. You can see that in the photo with JFK, the motorcade going down right there. If you ever in Tampa, when I was here recently, I actually went in University of Tampa right there. It is such a beautiful building. It's really a landmark in Tampa and uh, it's just very very cool and then over here for those that don't know is the JFK 1917 to 1963 the marker I don't think I've yet to ever bake in any video from you can always pause and bump it up to 4k if you need to if you want to read any of these And there you go. You can step up in here. Uh, we've often kind of come up here to take photos. So again, I'll maybe plop that photo in there again. It's from right around here and then you can see that building.
Fast and the Famous Chubbies. We just passed Ballast Point Park down that way. We're headed back to Tampa. Longest part of the cruise is the Bay Shore. We'll try to get some more footage going this way. My son's half asleep. I'll press. It's a perfect day. It's a good time, Tampa Kennedy Cruise 2022. We got multiple people out here. Of course, the C10, the V Dub you saw earlier. It's good times. All right, the last leg of it is to stop at the mural. I'll show you the mural in just a second. Uh, we didn't line them up here by years, I guess kinda, but we staggered them. We got one of the participants in the cruise. He's kind of looking out to try to help, which is good for logistically, but you can see the mural right there. Lou's car up front and everything here. Usually a little, little group photo, kind of end everything out. ODB, the Lincoln Addict. We're having a good time. Here's the money shot. You come up these stairs. You see all the Lincolns there. We'll pull the other vehicles in afterwards. Boom.
there you have it, folks. There's Tony Boss Bowling saying what up, peace out. It's a good time. We got one little stop. We're gonna go over to Armature Works. The owner has a, a spot marked for us, thanks to Lou. Lou has the uh, white up there in the front. He helped us out with that, big ups to him. I'll put his Instagram name on the uh, screen. Appreciate you guys watching all the way through. Stay on the rise. Picture perfect day. Lou looked, hooked us up with the owner of Armature Works. We're all backed in. Everybody that wanted to come to lunch, if you guys had to dip, which is good, you can see Armature Works up here. The rooftop bar. They've added some more seating out here. You got the perfect sky. You got the Hillsborough River right there. Downtown skyline. Life is great. Again, thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate y'all. We got you. Peace. Hey, hey, it's ODB, we made it home. What a great day. I think the last video that I took was from down at Armature Works. We gotta give a big shout out to those guys uh, for blocking off those spaces. I know Lou came through big, talked to the owner. He said, no problem, we backed in there. It was awesome, we ran in, got some food, got some drinks, got home safe. And dude, what a great day. Uh, Chris Dunn came out, big, big shout out to Lincoln Land. Eric and his wife came out as well, so big ups to them. And uh, we can't thank everyone enough for coming through. The good thing is, those that made it had a great time. Those that couldn't, maybe they'll make it next year, but they missed out, no doubt. So with that being said, ODB, the Lincoln Attic, we out of here. Peace. The Lincoln Continental is the big, roomy luxury car. It will be motordom symbol of quality. An automobile and a tradition.